Your screen should look like this. If so, we are now ready to dive into Dreamweaver. And uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and X out of our named folder. We don't need it right now, but you should note that it is on the desktop, also my the file locker that I'm using, and of course the hard drive is visible. So right now you should access Dreamweaver here on the dock. We know that if it is not on the dock, we can also access it by clicking on the spotlight and simply typing in Dream. You can continue typing if you'd like to, and it recognizes it in terms of your applications and a top hit. And I'll just enter there, and it should pop up. I'll just cancel this here. Okay, we're going to get started into Dreamweaver right now in terms of creating your first website. Some of you all did mention that you have at least two people out of the two sections mentioned that they have a website already. But for the most part, many of us do not. This is your welcome screen. We're not going to use it right now. Um, but you should know that you can open files maybe that you have on your desktop or in uh, maybe a documents folder or downloads here. You can also... Um, create pages or new pages, HTML pages, similar to the index.html file that we have. You could create something like that here. New, also we have a CSS folder. Cascading Style Sheets is what it is the acronym for. So we could actually start opening here JavaScript and so much other. But all we need to do now is just X out of that. To get started, we want to go up to the very top where we have a menu and click on Site new site we have other options to manage the site and once we get multiple pages and get everything started the website per se in Dreamweaver we will be able to click on manage sites but right now because we're creating a new website click on your new website option and you should have this window here for site setup okay and it says unnamed site 3 because I've been working in this I'm creating new pages but yours probably will not say 3 and if it doesn't that's quite okay my site name temporarily will be prism so I encourage you to type prism into your site name and in terms of where it says local site folder I'm going to find now my named folder on the desktop so this little thumbnail here let me find that the Ava tab folder on the desktop. I'm going to choose it. Now this X has come up. It shouldn't for you, but it has come up for me because I have given um, used Prism already. You can leave it that, but I'll change it to my name. That's okay. You have an option. And I'll click on, I'm not going to save it right now. Click on servers. Okay, now this is probably the most important part. Here we're going to access the Prism Web Server for students. The server name is Prism. And we're connecting using the FTP. Remember that is File Transfer Protocol. The FTP address should be prism.troy.edu. We're going to leave that port at 21. Now here is where you need to find both your username and password that you were given, okay? So what I'm going to type in in terms of my username is A-M-T-A-B-B. This is the username I was given at PRISM. Leave off the E-D-U, okay? Leave off the Troy.edu. And then now I need to type in my password that I was given. I will leave the root directory blank. And now, again, another important step where it says web URL. We have prism.troy.edu backslash. I'm going to type in my username again. This will be my URL for my Prism website. Okay, again, do not leave it, the web URL, at just prism.troy.edu. That will take you to that init initial Prism page. Here we need to type in, and my example is prism.troy.edu backslash A-M-T-A-B-B. Again, the server name is Prism. Connecting using FTP. The FTP address is prism.troy.edu. My username is A-M-T-A-B-B at Prism. Enter the password that you were given, and I encourage you to save this. That means that um, you will not have to enter in this information each time you access it. The root directory is not necessary. 
okay and now I will click on test just to test and see how this works okay this is a message that you do want to appear Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 connected to your web server successfully that's awesome if you have this message you are in good shape we are ready to proceed if you do not uh, we need to revisit your username and password and also the FTP address and the prism the server name to ensure that it is accurate so if you receive this message click OK and we want to save it okay now click on save 